Hey there friends, Nibs again. Wanted to get out and do a little plinking this afternoon. It's such a fine afternoon, uh, for especially for late November. Um, it's the Sunday before Thanksgiving and uh, I'm out here in uh, just flannel, flannel sleeves on my shirt here, so can't complain about that. Um, they say it's in the upper 40s, so I'll, uh, I'll believe it. But uh, I wanted to uh, get out and do a little plinking, like I said, and uh, been showing a lot of uh, guns with uh, just uh, plastic and everybody's getting kind of riled up about uh, not seeing any walnut lately. So I want to make sure and bring out guns that only were walnut and steel. So this one that I'm going to show you guys today is one of a night cool ones from the old collection. And uh, this is a Winchester model 1906. And uh, what's neat about this one, it's not the, in the perfectest condition, but it is a, uh, a fine old example, a nice survivor. The bore is really nice on this one. Um, the, uh, you know, the finish is pretty well worn off it. And, um, but what is really interesting about this one, you see how it has this uh, smooth uh, front grip. That means that this one is actually a first year of production or right around first year. I think maybe they carried them over into the second year, but they only did that for like the first year of production from what I've read. And then they went to a, one with a, a grooved uh, front uh, foregrip there. So, so this one uh, definitely is, a, it's a nice shooter though. I uh, have shot this one quite a bit in the past. And this one will, uh, I'll shoot uh, only uh, standard velocity or, or lower out of an old gun like this. Um, they were only really designed to, to shoot rounds that were, you know, back then standard velocity was the high velocity. So. They didn't come out with the high velocity stuff until much later, many decades later. And uh, then they started designing the guns to uh, handle the pressure of those higher velocity rounds. So just a little word of, you know, what wisdom or caution or whatever you want to call it for uh, you guys who are collectors of these final 22s. Um, they'll handle one or two high velocity rounds, but a steady diet of high velocity stuff like that will eventually damage the mechanisms inside of it. So no real need for it. Ooh, just glancing below. So one thing that was kind of weird about this, I forgot to wear a hat, but uh, the uh, ejector basically kicks that round straight up in the air. And a lot of times it'll come up and land on top of your head. Um, so what I like to do is turn it off to the side a little bit while I'm chamber in the next round or you know rack in the slide oh, how am I missing here yeah, I'm hitting off to the left well, let's see what I can do here still glancing off to the left I think that was the last one there's a good hit let me let me load up another handful here and we'll give you a better sh I do have a I do have a camera rolling showing the, the targets downrange. But uh, I did make uh, I just just got done making this second uh, gong here. You can see it's the ones painted orange there. I did do a video on how to how to do that, what I do to do that. <clears throat> um, they are pretty close in the same size. I haven't really measured them or anything like that, but uh, they are uh, pretty close to the same size. And uh, But they do definitely have a, a different uh, uh, key or pitch or whatever you want to call it. The, uh, the newer one is definitely a higher frequency tone when you hit it. There's a better hit. So, so this gun is definitely hitting off to the left. I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, 
있고 So that was the that was the older one and you can definitely hear it's a much much lower note or tone. There's the uh play the uh, the newer one again. And let's go for the old one again. Oh, I hit it, but it was just a glance. Let me, uh, yeah. So anyway, you see the difference in the two, uh, two gongs there anyway, so. But I uh, wanted to get out and uh, do a little plinking. I wanted to make these videos be too long, but I just want, thought you guys would appreciate seeing some walnut and steel and uh, get back on track here with the channel. But this is a uh, first year of production, model 1906. Um, they will chamber a short, long, or a long rifle, um, which is, uh, that's what made this mechanism a lot different than the original gun that was this production, which is the model 1890, um, which would, could chamber, you could order them, you could do short or long or long rifle or a Winchester special but uh, it was one or the other and not the combination. So this one will do shorts long, long rifle and they redesigned the, the carrier mechanism inside to allow it to do that. But, so that was uh, kind of revolutionary back in this day that they were able to do that. <clears throat> so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'm gonna go plink some more rounds. Have a great day.